Hello, YouTube. Thought we'd do a quick video here. There seemed to be some confusion. I've gotten some emails. People think that you have to have the repeater online for the simplex repeater function to work. And you do not need any internet to do this. Matter of fact, if you're just going to run the simplex repeater software and maybe the date and time software, you can run it on an older computer, whether it's a desktop, whether it's a laptop, it, whatever, which one you have. But you do not need internet, okay? Now, I'm going to talk about um, the setup here. I'm going to show you um, how, how I have this set up. So let's go ahead and talk about the radio. Now, I have a handheld hooked up, obviously, to the computer here. The handheld has got to be on Vox mode. You need the Vox sensitivity set as sensitive as you can with the volume all the way up on the radio. You can adjust all that later, but just to get you up and running, you can tweak the sound settings later, but that's what you got to do. Now, in my case, I don't need an external antenna, but if you're just going to use the handheld, obviously I recommend unscrewing this antenna and running it to a, hook up a coax and have an antenna outside. But since I have a repeater, I'm going to use my repeater, my Redivis RT97, that does not have the data port. I have this handheld program to the repeater. So I can get that repeater to do a time announcements um, by doing it this way, okay? The other thing I want to point out too is just for this video's sake, I, I'm using the battery of the handheld. Obviously, if you're going to have this be a permanent type of situation, you want to use a battery eliminator, and this would go and place the battery. You'd run this into a power supply that you can plug into the electricity. This converts electricity to 12-volt DC, or you can plug this into a, a car battery, whatever setup you're trying to do. If you don't have power, you can use a car battery and a solar panel whatever the case may be. And uh, so that's uh, how you, I would recommend doing that. Now, let's talk about the cables and all that that I have here. And I want to point out some things here that are that's important. First off, you're going to need, obviously, some audio. These are audio cables. We got a microphone in and a speaker out on the handheld. The cable sizes are going to be 3.5 millimeter and a 2.5 millimeter. Um, I'll post some links down below. But you're going to need, and this is very important, you're going to need a ground loop isolator block. If you do not have this and you plug this radio in directly without this loop, it's going to key up the radio and the radio will not unkey. It's like you pushing the transmit button. So you need this ground loop isolator. Again, I will post this down in the link down below, okay? Now, in my case, my sound card in this laptop is not very good, and my jack is kind of wore out. So instead of trying to fix this laptop, it's cheaper to buy an $8 USB sound card and plug it in and use that than try to fix this, okay? So if your computer sound card ain't very good um, or your jack on your computer where you plug in your headphones don't work well, then I recommend buying a $8 sound card. I'll post a link to that in the description too. Now, if your computer does have a jack on it and you want to use that, then you're going to need a special cable unless your computer has two jacks. If your computer has a separate mic input and a separate speaker out on the computer, then you will not need this adapter. My computer only has one jack, so I need this special adapter, okay? This is not a splitter. This is a special adapter. It converts one to speaker out and microphone in. Do not use a splitter. It will not work. It's got to be the, I'll post a link to that in the description below also. 
So that's how we have this hooked up. So I have on this the speaker out on the USB sound card goes into the microphone in and then the speaker out on the radio goes into the microphone in of the USB sound card. Okay? And, I, and it don't matter what side you have the ground block. I think I had the ground block isolator. Well, let's look here once. I think I have that hooked up to it looks like to be the headphone out. So that's how I had that ground. See the cable right there? So headphone out. So I'm going to say that one more time. Headphone out on here goes into the speaker. Uh, <laughs> headphone out on here goes into the microphone in on here. The speaker out from the radio feeds the microphone in to the USB sound card. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Speaker out on here goes the microphone in on here. Speaker out on here feeds the sound into the microphone into the computer. Okay? So now let's go ahead. I'm going to put this tripod down here. Now let's do a little check here. I got a handheld right here programmed to the frequency I need. And I'm going to talk on here. Hopefully you'll hear this. Let's test this out. A radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Don't know if you can hear that. Sounds real good. Now, if it did sound, if it didn't sound good, then I would adjust either, depending on which way it doesn't sound good, either the volume on the radio or the volume on the laptop. And we'll talk about this, the software settings here. So let's go ahead and turn this down. Okay, now the software settings here. This is the free repeater software. We have this software in simplex mode. Let me get my little pen. You can see right here. I have it right here. See, I'll circle it. It's in um, simplex mode, and it's de uh, set to de detect audio, okay? And to do that, let's go ahead and get my pointer. Clear that. I got to turn this off to show you the settings. We go to configuration. The sound card we leave alone. We let Windows pick its own sound card. Don't touch that unless you know exactly what sound card you want to use. Okay. We have, if you go to mode, we have it set to simplex, immediately play. And we have it set for sound. So then if you do this right and you turn this on right here, you should see, let me get my fancy little pen out. You should see all right here is where you want to make sure you have it selected correctly. If you see all that, then you should be all set. Now, there's one thing I need to point out that people tend to get kind of confused. Down here for your main sound, you got to make sure this is selected to what your, how you have it hooked up, the two-way radio hooked up to your computer. In my case, since I'm using the USB audio, which is the sound card right there, I have to have this set to in my case, it came up as number 10, USB audio device. I got to make sure that's selected. If you hit the little arrow button here, you can see I have this built-in headphones, the jack that doesn't work very well, and I have another USB that's for a, a headset that I use to make videos on this laptop. But I need the repeater sound card to work, and that's going to be the USB dongle down there, and that is going to be number 10. Okay, I had the volume about halfway. You can adjust this accordingly if you need to. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now for the to time, the time and date, I have that running in the background right here. Okay, that's all you got to do. Um, pretty much, let's minimize this. Pretty much, I have this set to date and time. You can select how you want it to be said. Okay, and if I hit Let's get the radio here. Let's set this radio right here. Now I'm going to hit the play button. 
So there you go. That's how you, that's, that's, that's all, that's all you got to do. Now I have it set every five minutes here. That's kind of excessive. Um, but you can test it by hitting play the, the, the message. Now, again, we're using the sound card. So if you go to sound up here, we have it just like the repeater software, let windows pick its own sound card. And as long as you got it set right down here, it should play over your repeater. Okay. If you have problems, then I suggest go to your search bar, type in sound. Now I'm going to show you what I mean. You go to your computer sound settings. Let me call up the window here and you'll get something like this. Okay. And you can see here, make sure you have it selected right here for the, um, the microphone. Make sure you have it selected up here for the speaker out. Make sure it matches. If you don't have this, if I change this to microphone number nine, it ain't my repeater software ain't going to work or vice versa. If I have this on speaker number nine, because I do have that option because I do have, if you look under here, I see. So make sure that if you're having problems, double check your sound. Type in your search sound and you should find us. And this is Windows 10 I'm on. Um, you uh, select sound settings and just, dub just double check the output sound matches. Oh, see how I went to speaker nine because I was playing with that. You see that? That won't work. I got to go to speaker 10. See, it? that's a good example how easy it is to have these set differently. So double check you have it set there. Um, other than that, that's how you do the simplex repeater. Now, technically, since I have this program to my Redivis repeater, I don't need to run this software, but I like running this software because it records my voice and plays it back, and I get to see how I sound for my videos. But technically, I don't need the software. I could just run the time announcements, and that's all I, you know, that's all I could do. So, um, go back here. So now this does have capabilities to do a COM port. So same with the time; it does have a COM port where. This could possibly be hooked up directly to a repeater that has a data port, whether it's the Midland or whether it's the Redivis RT97S model. Um, I'm going to work on a couple of simple circuits for this um, to see what I can come up with. I do not have that type of repeater here, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to try to do my best to try to come up with a circuit where you guys can build very easily to hook up your repeaters using the data port instead of using the Vox settings. Um, so that's uh, another video there. But um, but yeah, that's pretty much how simple this is. I'll post the links down below to all of this. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below and please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.